Hello, and welcome to another episode of Retrospective Gaming. In this episode, I will be covering Fallout 3. I first beat this game back in 2009, but in order to make a video about it, I had to replay it because to be honest, I forgot almost everything about this game. It wasn't like New Vegas, I didn't beat it 7 times. I had to replay it in order to give a honest opinion about the game. Basically, it was a fresh experience for me. In this episode, I will be answering the question that I have been asked many times. What game do I think is better, Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas? You'll have to watch the video to find out my answer. Just a quick warning, there are spoilers in this video. I wouldn't say it's anything really bad, but I do go into the story a little bit. You have been warned. Now on to Fallout 3. The story starts off with you, the lone wanderer, born and raised by your father in Vault 101. Your mother is absent from your life because she died while giving birth to you, and you go on to live as normal as you possibly can while living in a vault, until one day your father leaves, which throws the vault into absolute chaos. You are forced to leave the vault and go on a journey to find out what motive would be so great to abandon your own child. And this is where the story starts in Fallout 3. Now when talking about the story in Fallout 3, the first thing I wanted to mention is how much I enjoyed the beginning. I really think that Bethesda did a good job introducing you to the game. You know they show your birth and they show you as a child and as a teenager going through the vault a little bit before you leave. I think it was very well done. With that being said, my main problem with Fallout 3 is the main story. I don't think it's awful, I just think it's bad. Before I explain why I thought it was bad, I just want to talk about some of the things that I found that were good in the main storyline. One of them was seeing Liberty Prime in action. It was very entertaining seeing this huge robot destroying everything in its path. But the thing that I liked most about the main storyline was going into Tranquility Lane, a virtual simulation that you find in Vault 112. When you enter Tranquility Lane, you'll find that it resembles 50s suburbia. Something like the Andy Griffin show, but it's not sunshine and lollipops, it's something much darker than that. I won't spoil the quest for you, but all I have to say is, it involves acts of violence and mass murder. And it's freaking sweet. I love that quest. Now my issue with the main storyline in Fallout 3 is the dialogue. I think it is very bad. I think it's too black and white for me. And to be honest, I didn't find any memorable characters in the main storyline. But it didn't have to be that way. You see, on paper, Fallout 3 had a lot of elements that could have translated into a great main storyline. You see, when you progress through the game, you will eventually find your father. And find out the reason why he left you was for Project Purity, a plan to purify water which would definitely help the wasteland out. But in order to restart this project, you need to find the Gek, short for Garden of Eden Creation Kit. But, of course, there's an obstacle to this goal, the Enclave. Now, on top of Project Purity, you have the Enclave and the Brotherhood of Steel, two factions with different ideologies, plus with the relationship and interaction between you and your father this could have been a great main story but it's bogged down by bad writing plain and simple and that's my opinion to be fair it's not just Fallout 3 in my opinion it's Bethesda I don't think that they know how to write a great main storyline with good dialogue and interesting characters you know with the main storyline in Fallout 3 I didn't feel like I had much of an impact on the world. I just felt like I was there. And I know someone is going to say, well, you do have an impact on the world. You can save or destroy Megaton. But other than that, I didn't feel like I really changed much. 
And in the main storyline with a game like this, it's important. Now that doesn't mean that I did not enjoy any of the quests in Fallout 3. I enjoyed some of the side quests a hell of a lot more than the main storyline. There are some shining gems with the side quest in Fallout 3. Some great examples of the potential that Bethesda has. And these quests are Shoot Him in the Head, Agatha's Song, Oasis, and my favorite, The Replicated Man. These are great examples of awesome quests. And they show the potential that Bethesda has, but it's not consistent. Now let's talk about the gameplay. Fallout 3 is a first person shooter and a role playing game mixed together. Now you can go in third person, but I recommend playing the game in first person. You level up and improve your skills. For example, if you invest in the energy weapon skill, it will help you out when it comes to weapons like the laser rifle, the plasma rifle, the laser pistol, etc, etc. You also have perks that can help you out through the game. For example, you can get a perk that displays all the locations on the map for you. And you also have different attributes like strength, endurance, luck, and so and so to help shape out the character that you want to make. But even though you can make the type of character that you want to make, I felt that outside of the combat, it didn't make any difference at all in the storyline. There weren't enough situations that had different options to solve the quest. And that's a bummer because when you have a game where your character can have different skills and specialize in certain things, I believe that there needs to be variety when it comes to solving quests and having different outcomes will make the game fresh and prevent it from becoming stale. But unfortunately, Fallout 3 didn't satisfy me when it came to that. Now, when it comes to combat, I enjoyed it. It's entertaining enough for me to keep playing the game. But, I won't lie, it is very clunky. And I did experience glitches, like shots not registering, enemies glitching through walls, and just some very dumb AI. And the game crashed quite a bit. But I could forgive those mistakes and still have fun with the game. My issue with the combat is that it's too damn easy. Fallout 3 is a very easy game in my opinion. Even on the hardest difficulty, I was still plowing through enemies like it was nothing and I didn't have much of a challenge. Especially when you're using vats because when you throw vats into the mix, you almost feel like you're invincible because the game's so easy. Now, in layman's terms, VAT lets you use your AP points to target specific body parts of your enemies. You'll probably have some challenge in the beginning of the game, but you should have no problems beating Fallout 3. Now, when it comes to sound and atmosphere, I think Bethesda did a good job in Fallout 3. First, let's talk about the DC Wasteland. It's very depressing. It's very grimy. It just looks horrible. And when you enter the wasteland, you get that feeling of everything's not going to be okay. And that's how it should feel. And I think they got that right when it came to Fallout 3. I personally felt that there wasn't a lot of great places to explore in Fallout 3. But some of my favorite places to explore were Oasis, Rivet City, The Underworld, aka what I call it, Ghoul City, and Ted Penny Tower. Just because I like seeing Megaton blow up. I don't know why, but it was very cool. The only thing that really annoyed me when it came to the DC Wasteland was going through the metro tunnels. You see, some areas are blocked off, and the only way that you can get past them is to go through these tunnels. Which, you can say that they're Fallout 3's versions of dungeons. But still, there was too many of them, and it annoyed me. But other than that, I think they did a good job when it came to the atmosphere and just making everything look grimy and hopeless. When it comes to the sound in Fallout 3, it's a mixed bag for me. On one hand, I thought the voice acting was very dull and just bland. But on the other hand, I really enjoyed the soundtrack in this game. The music that you hear during a battle and the main theme, 
I really enjoyed it, but what I'm talking about is the soundtrack, the songs that you hear on the radio. It was very awesome. They came up with a great list of songs, and everyone knows the song, I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire by The Ink Spots, and it's a good song. But what really put a smile on my face was hearing the song, Maybe, by The Ink Spots in Fallout 3. For anyone that doesn't know, that was the intro song in Fallout 1, and it was very awesome to hear that. And with the awesome soundtrack, plus the DC Wasteland looking as fucked up as it does, I believe that Fallout 3 does a good enough job in immersing you in the world. But only if you can ignore the bad dialogue in the main quest. Other than that, you should be fine. Alright everybody, now it's time to answer the question that I have been getting quite a bit lately. What game do I think is better, Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas? Now this is just my personal opinion, but my answer is Fallout New Vegas. Why do I think that? Well, without taking up too much time, I'll list a couple of reasons why. Number one, I think that Fallout New Vegas has a better story than Fallout 3. Especially when it comes to dialogue, I just think that the writing is way better in Fallout New Vegas. Number two, I believe that in Fallout New Vegas you have a greater impact on the world and you have more choices when it comes to dealing with situations and that was something that's really great about Fallout New Vegas and in my opinion it really wasn't present in Fallout 3. And number three, difficulty. I just think that Fallout New Vegas is a more satisfying game. It's a harder game, especially with the hardcore mode. Even though it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, it still was a step in the right direction. And I believe that the difficulty in Fallout New Vegas is way higher than Fallout 3. Thanks for watching another episode. If you made it to the end of the video, you probably think that I'm just a purist or a hater that just despises Fallout 3. And you would be wrong. I don't hate Fallout 3. I just have mixed feelings when it comes to this game. And that's me being 100% honest. The awesome thing about Fallout 3 is the fact that it introduced the Fallout franchise to a lot of gamers that didn't know anything about it before playing that game. And I'm one of them. I found out about Fallout 1 and 2 back in 2009 thanks to Fallout 3. So what's your opinion on Fallout 3? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Whatever it is, I want to hear it, so leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other content. Have a great day.